So this routine is gonna have four rounds in it. The first three rounds are gonna get progressively more difficult, building up into the fourth round, which will either be a max hang or minimal edge protocol. All right, so for round one, we're gonna do that sub max hang. It's gonna be a 30 second hang on a like, medium to large size hold. So it'll be about 20 plus millimeters. You're gonna do this hang working basically on your form. So keeping you know, your shoulders engaged, your chest up, and then making sure your elbows are not locked out. You're gonna again hold it for 30 seconds and you're gonna only do two sets of it. So in round two, we're gonna do the single arm recruitment pulls. This is gonna be done on a very small ledge, a ledge small enough where you cannot physically lift yourself off the ground. So for this round two, you're gonna do three sets of it and you're gonna do five repetitions. Each repetition is five seconds long. Think of each second as a new gear. So you start off lighter and you pull heavier and heavier and heavier until you relax just for about a second and you repeat that rep. You'll do five in a row on the right and then five in a row on the left. All right, for round three, we're gonna go into a sub max hang with weight. So we do a 20 second hold on about a medium size edge. You still wanna be in the open hand position. We're not going into any kind of crimp position with this one. Um, so your ledge may be like about 21 to 30 millimeters and it's gonna be a 20 second hold. So fourth and final round, we're gonna do max hangs in this chance. Like I wanna get stronger, I'm trying to build up the strength of my connective tissue. I'm gonna go with just about 25% of my body weight today. Just, you know, we're gonna be nice and safe with it. So we'll do our max hang protocol. I'm on about a 15 millimeter ledge and I'm gonna hold for 10 seconds. All right, so if you're in round four and you're doing the minimal edge protocol, fantastic. We're gonna go with the smallest ledge that we can. We need to be able to hold it for 10 seconds, okay? So if you start way too small, that's not smart, start bigger. If you can hold it for way too long, work down from there. So you'll pick an edge, you'll work down from that edge size. Goal again is 10 seconds. With this, it can be great if you're training for like again a project but had a small hold, or if you're just newer and you don't want to add weight to your hangs yet. 